Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana and this is season 3 of our daily answer writing initiative. This initiative is running in coordination with our website which is rajisacademy.com. Click on the link in the description that will take you to our website. In the mains answer writing section you will see all the questions and model answers that have been uh, seen on Seize the Mains till date. We are quest- we are on question number 148 now what you can do is go to the website read the model answer and try to write your own answer try to you know have some better presentation skills try to sum up in your own language try to try to rephrase and paraphrase what information is being given in the model answer the special part about these model answers is that you do not have to find other sources for information or for content our answers are complete when it comes to content so even if you go through the uh, model answer that we provide on the website you will be having adequate knowledge to write a good answer of your own so definitely start sharing your answers definitely start practicing with us and let's begin with our today's topic that is formation of fog or fog formation this is you know the best time to study geography or climatology uh, to be precise so fog has been in news fog and smog are very recurrent topics in um, upsc preparation upsc mains examination so let's study what is the reason for fog over northwestern india and let's see what is the question with regards to it the question is briefly explain the mechanism behind formation of fog what are the various factors that aid its formation over northwestern india in winters answer in 250 words so look at the first part of the question uh, closely briefly explain the mechanism behind formation of fog so see this is a 250 words question and in 250 words questions uh, just take a note that the examiner wants a detailed explanation from you it is considered a long answer question the ideal word limit for 250 words question is somewhere between 220 somewhere between around 220 to 230 words maximum up to 250 do not uh, cross the word limit at uh, at all so since this is a long question you would be asked only the questions which require detailed explanation when it comes to 250 words uh, questions so when it talks about briefly explain the mechanism behind formation of fog yes you have to be brief but also you have to give associated diagrams as well and associated maps as well whenever it comes to geography questions so just google some images with regards to formation of fog and find out the easiest diagram you can make in your answer so first of all we'll take the first part of the question that is explain the mechanism behind the formation of fog let's see what it is start by defining fog what is the fog that we understand uh, what is what is uh, that we understand about fog so it is a visible aerosol consisting of tiny water droplets or ice crystals suspended in the air at or near the earth surface so that is a very scientific def- definition a very technical definition so you're not giving a very basic kind of definition to just fill up words this is uh, you know the technical part of it and now we'll elaborate on this definition itself that how fog is formed so it can be considered as a type of low lying cloud usually remem- uh, resembling stratus stratus clouds and is heavily influenced by nearby bodies of water topography and wind conditions so see briefly explain the mechanism behind formation of uh, fog the basic conditions you have given now let's while talking about the mechanism let's give a brief mechanism also we'll talk about the types of fogs because there are different types of fogs which are formed with the help of or due to various mechanisms so uh, though types of fog has not been asked explicitly in the question when you talk about mechanisms then definitely we'll be covering we'll have to cover types of fog that is radiation fog advection fog valley fog and freezing fog so fog forms in a similar way uh, as ca- as the clouds because that is your particular last line so fog can be considered as a type of low lying cloud so when it we say that fog forms in a similar way that is in the way clouds are forming in a similar way in which clouds are formed that is when water vapor condenses that is the basic mechanism the presence of moisture and a fall of temperature two important uh, factors are key factors here the presence of moisture and a fall in the temperature are key factors for the formation of fog with the land surface cooling down at night the air close to the surface also cools down so that is the mechanism that you are explaining that the temperature of land surface that goes down and the air that is close to the uh, land surface that also cools down and hence condensation of water particles occurs in the atmosphere and that results in fog formation 
since cooler air cannot hold as much moisture as warm air the water vapor in the air condenses to form fog so this is the brief mechanism that you have outlined here now we'll give just one to two lines for all types of fogs again i'm reiterating do not write this body paragraph 1 as uh, you know as the heading types of fog yes that can also be a, def uh, a, a heading but definitely include that there are several different types of fogs formed due to various processes or mechanisms so our aim is to define the or to you know elaborate or elucidate the mechanisms behind formation of different types of fogs so first one is the radiation fog or ground fog that forms in the evening when heat absorbed by earth surface during the days radiated into the air so this does not rise very high in the sky as heat transferred from the ground to the air water droplets form it does not reach as high as any of the clouds overhead it usually forms at night and it is said to you know um, burn off in the morning sun as as soon as you see the sunrise it is said to burn off so that is your first and basic type of fog that is radiation fog or ground fog The second one is advection fog. It forms when warm moist air passes over a cool surface. For example, in the case of your ocean currents, uh, advection fog forms uh, shows up mostly in places where warm tropical air meets cooler ocean water. And uh, where does your warm tropical air meet? or cooler ocean water there is a lot of fog uh, that side for example in the pacific coast of united states from washington to california so lot of foggy area exist a lot of seasons of a um, many um, lot of months of fog persist there the third one is valley fog which forms in mountain valleys usually during winters it develops when mountains prevent the dense air from escaping the fog is trapped in the bowl of the valley so low lying areas they will definitely see fog while the hill will remain uh, very much clear so three types of fogs have been explained uh, the fourth mechanism or the fourth fourth type of uh, fog would be freezing fog when it happens happens when the liquid fog droplets freeze to solid surfaces that is under very low temperature mountain tops that are covered by clouds are often covered in freezing fog so that is you know uh, snow tops uh, snow tops of mount uh, mountains as the freezing fog it lifts the ground the trees and even objects like spider webs are blanketed by a layer of frost so that is the you know uh, most uh, least temperature uh, fog operating here the white landscapes of freezing fro fog are common in places with cold cold and moist climates uh, Uh, such as scandinavia or antarctica so yes the first part of the question can be addressed here definitely when you are talking about the mechanism also you can use a representative diagram in the mechanism part of the question your mechanism part your representative diagram can be a circular diagram it could be a square rectangle anything not triangle because we are explaining about four types of or four mechanisms of fog formation so this completes the first part of your answer what are the various factors that aid fogs or its formation over northwest india in winters see now the basic mechanism behind fog has been explained so we will not repeat content in the second part of the answer because the answer has to be presented as a complete uh, as a complete structure so you will not be repeating the same lines that there are you know uh, what you will be talking about is conditions which are specific to northwestern india that could be western disturbances that bring uh, moisture that could be you know lesser wind system or you know the wind system is not very strong in uh, winters it could be pollution also yes pollution has been has been researched and justified as a um, as a reason for fog formation and increasing or accentuating its formation so yes northwestern india obviously uh, you're moving towards the second part of the answer now so talk about fog over northwestern india what happens what are the months that uh, in geography talk about your seasons climates months timelines talk about climate uh, talk about timelines also northwestern india especially the indo gangetic plains uh, plain is most vulnerable to fog occurrences with major weeks uh, with major week long spell of dense fog in the months of december and january so this fog is linked to four reasons uh, in the first point itself also these are not separate points for your answer you can write this part of the answer in a body paragraph approach taking a body paragraph approach if you are not taking a body paragraph approach use bullet points because these are not separate factors point number 1 2 3 4 5 that would not be applicable here so this fog is linked to four reasons the first one is low winds then you have low temperatures uh, the third one is availability of moisture and pollution particles which act as surfaces a uh, surface for condensation so yes uh, 
Briefly, you have outlined the factors. Now, we will explain some specific factors. The first one is western disturbances, which are storms that originate in the Mediterranean Sea, bring moisture bearing winds to northwest India. So, moisture is coming from there, and this results in increased moisture levels over the region. Even if moisture is not there in the absence of western disturbances, local moisture so sources like water vapor or from riv rivers and soil moisture, they can also cause fog. So, the more the moisture, the more the fog. Secondly, the fall in temperature along with light winds over the Indo-Gangetic plain result in dense fog over the region. Third is air pollution. See, uh, whenever you are talking about any such phenomena, smog, fog, anything for that matter, always look f on the web for any any more reasons that you can portray apart from what, what you read in your NCRTs or in your GS classes. Since air pollution is also an established reason of fog, recently in the past few years researches have come up that air pollution is a reason for fog, definitely yes. So, do not skip on this part, this uh, you know this third point does not appear on many of the websites or many of the content uh, providing websites. Do not uh, you know play with yourself there, research on your own level also before sitting for your mains examination and definitely practice with us. So, air pollution it uh, increases or uh, accentuates the fog, uh, fog condensation usually um, as the fog condensation, fog particles or the water particles, water droplets basically which are causing fog uh, due to con condensation, they require some particles to carry out condensation on and these are and when you have a lot of air pollution, there are more particles in the air, hence more uh, water vapors actually undergo condensation and more fog is there. So, uh, as fog condensation usually occurs on particles floating in the air, this fog in turn plays a role in reducing day temperatures because fog blocks sunlight. So, fog leads to more of fog as a uh, prevalent fog uh, that is already there in the atmosphere that is not radiation fog any other kind of fog will lead to more and more fog in the upcoming days as more and more sunlight is blocked and temperatures go down so these were the few reasons uh, with regards to your uh, fog formation in northwestern india now your conclusions they have to be subject specific so definitely it definitely when you are writing a conclusion just say that needless to say fog can have high spatial vari variability that it can you know vary from uh, place to place and its intensity can depend on factors like humidity, wind and temperature that we re that this is something we are reiterating. So, geography answer ended on an uh, ended with a geography conclusion only. Sometimes conclusions and geography answers are not needed but we recommend that you write at least one line to sum up your answer whether you know that is uh, that one line summarizes the entire higher points that you have discussed above or you talk about the societal impact of something but always do not deviate uh, always remember that you do not have to deviate from the from the purpose of the question if it is a science and tech question if it is a geography question keep it keep the subject matter limited to that subject only with uh, just one line of interconnection so yes that's your entire answer for the day the full answer has been uploaded on our website rajisacademy.com Click on the link in the description, go check out our website, visit the mains answer writing section, read out the model answer for today. It will definitely help you benefit, it will definitely benefit you in your preparation. Uh, we are sure about that. There are so, so many students who joined us, wrote answers with us for a few weeks or, or a few months and saw tremendous improvement and later on, uh, you know, they went on successfully with their lives. So, definitely join this, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. I'll see you on Monday with another discussion on the Seize the Mains. Till then, stay tuned to the channel and all the best.